Okay, so it's the morning after. Spraying the headstock, which come out pretty good. There's a couple of little um, imperfections in the actual wood. There's a few chips, but I ain't too worried about that. They're the holes for the um, string trees. They don't actually come out too bad. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I've got a, a decal to put on it, a custom made one. Um, I was going to put a water slide one on, but uh, I had these made up a little while ago for me. I think I paid about a tenner for them, but I'm going to use these on my Jazzmaster because I've got uh, ideas for that later down the line. Um, and I really can't be going for the hassle of buying the water slide paper and what have you. So I've got a vinyl printer cutter. So silver vinyl I printed off. I can pick it up. Just the, we can see that on the camera. Just the Robster logo. So I'm thinking I, I'll just go probably about there with that one. Um, but I will, later down the line, show you how to do the water slide decals. Um, this, again, has got a twisted neck, so it probably won't stand the guitar long anyway. So I just sort of, I want to get something on just so it looks, you know, looks reasonably good. Um, I had some silver uh, vinyl paper knocking around. I didn't have gold, unfortunately, but I think silver will go good with the black and chrome vibe going on with it. Um, so what you need to do with this vinyl stuff is you have this transfer paper, it's a bit like um, masking tape. So I need to apply a bit of this to the sticker. And I'll make sure it sticks on well to the final transfer. All right, so I cut the excess off. So what happens when you peel the transfer tape off, it takes the logo off the uh, paper behind. Sure, this properly bites to the transfer paper or transfer tape. Okay, so I should be able to peel that off. There we go, in one go. So that's now stuck to the transfer paper. So it's back to front. So just line it up. It's actually quite hard to see where I'm going to go with this. Uh, yeah, it's pretty hard to see, so I guess I'll just have to um, wing it and hope for the best. So then you uh, rub it on so the vinyl sticks to the headstock. And then peel the tape off and hopefully it should leave the decal behind. There you go. Job done. That's pretty cool. So what I'll do now is um, give it a few coats of clear coat and uh, seal the meaty goodness in. Time to do some clear coat, I reckon. So again, this is the um, car spray paint. Coming in focus. And uh, this is actually pretty good paint. You're recommended to use this between 15 to 25 degrees centigrade in a well ventilated room. But always make sure your spray paint is warm, the can's warm before you spray. It does help with the finish. So I'm going to seal in this uh, logo now. Um, again, I'll do the same as I did yesterday uh, sort of zigzag strokes across and then up and down. So, here we go. So 
again I'll go with light layers and I'll let that uh, yeah I'll let that dry for another 10 minutes and then I'll come back and give it another coat again I'll go over a quite a few coats okay 10 minutes has passed let's give it another coat Time for another coat. Alright, I'll be back. So we're several coats later. This is probably going to be the last one now. It's starting to look uh, pretty shiny. It's got a bit of a tangerine peel going on, but that's to be expected with um, uh, rattle cans. I will. Once it's fully dried, I will put a bit of cutting compound on that and polish them out, make it a lot smoother. But yeah, last coat. Um, I found with this lacquer, uh, obviously you need to get it hot up to sort of 15 to 25 degrees Celsius. I found out that you're better off going in pretty close with this stuff and uh, going in quite heavy. Um, it seems to be quite thin, but it does go on nice. And make sure it's definitely warm before you spray. So let's go in with this final coat then. Good. So that'll probably wrap it up for today's video. I got the custom Robster vinyl decal on. Uh, gave it a good few coats of the clear lacquer. Uh, probably gave it about five or six coats in the end. But again, I'm going to let it dry. I'll probably just leave it for a week now. Let it fully cure. Then I'll come back. Uh, try and get rid of some of that tangerine peel. It ain't actually too bad. Once it dries, it sort of smooths out a little bit. But yeah, we'll get rid of that and um yeah put all the hardware on in between sort of now and then i'll try and source some more pickups for the guitar the um telemaster guitar yeah that's about it so thanks for watching give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it um subscribe to the channel follow me instagram and facebook the meat manifesto yeah so that's about it thanks for watching see you all soon peace